It's a dream, really. Uh, I never imagined I'd be working with all these actors all in the one movie. I mean, I think it's one of the greatest ensembles, certain, certainly modern ensembles that Chris has put together. But that just shows you, you know, everybody wants to work with Chris. You know, and these these actors will turn up um, because they they love his movies, they love his writing, and and he's an incredible director. So yeah, it was a gift for me every day. And also, you know, when, when you when you wake up and you're you know, one day you're doing a scene with Matt Damon, one day you're doing a scene with, you know, Ken Branner or Emily Blunt or, you know, Gary Oldman. You know, you just, uh, it's kind of electrifying and you just gotta, you gotta turn up the volume on your own performance a little bit, I think, you know. Well, the way Chris works, you know, there's no video village or monitors or anything like that. And obviously it's film cameras, so there's, you don't see any playback. You, the first frame of the movie that I saw was the first tr trailer, uh, um, and then when I finally got to see the finished film, it was it was completely completely overwhelming. Um, but I, but because there, was, there had been a gap between you know wrapping the movie and watching it, I suppose I had some distance. No, I, and to answer your question, I know I, I hate looking at myself. I don't really know any actor that enjoys the experience, but. Um, I found it, I, I was completely blown away by it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a truly essential, cinematic, immersive experience. Uh, you know, um, like Chris said, it's like, it's like 3D without the 3D glasses, you know? I think what's extra special about this film is it's talking about the world. You know, it's really digging at, at, at what it means to be humans and our responsibility as humans on this planet and how what we do with the power that we can harness and in this case, you know, this, this extraordinary and destructive and appalling weapon. And You know, it, it, it's amazing. And, you know, I think it was Truffaut said, you know, we go to films to escape from life but also to learn about life. And I think this is one of those great films. It does that, it entertains and it's incredibly entertaining, but it's also, you know, it makes you, makes you think. You know, there's a universality to it that people connect with, that people understand the themes that are in this movie. And, you know, there's big questions being, being, being asked of the audience. There's no answers being given, which I think is, is excellent filmmaking always. But, you know, it's also, it, it, it's, it's, got, it's, like, it's, it's like a thriller, it's a, it's a love story. It's, to me, there's elements of horror in there as well, you know, for sure. Um, so that just resonates w with an audience. And I think the period setting, however familiar or, or not you may be with what happened in 45, I think you will just be wrapped up in it. The movie grabs you by the throat, like from the beginning, and, and like you, you just don't take a breath, I think, from, from start to finish, really. Because we are now living in a nuclear age because of what happened then. I mean, he did change the world, you know, and that, and that, that event changed the world forever.